Okay, so here's my video on the fishbowl Santa Claus. I made him last year and I had a few people ask had I ever made a Santa Claus. So here he is. And we're going to make him today. So this is some of the things that you're going to need. You're going to need some loopy chenille. Uh, the only place that I have found this is at Hobby Lobby and you get a pretty good bunch and it's $2.99. doesn't take that much to make him so you can get a few, two, three, possibly even four Santa Clauses out of it. And this actually comes in all different colors, browns and yellows and pinks and um, whatnot. So you're going to need some loopy chenille and that's exactly what it's called. And you're going to need, of course, his little boots. And you're going to need his mittens. And you're going to need some red glitter and pink, light pink glitter. And to make his hat, I know that most sheets of felt come in 12 by 9. You, This one you're going to need a little bit bigger of a piece. This is a 13 by 13 square because um, his hat needs to be a little bit bigger. I went ahead and made up his hat just to save a little bit of time, but it's made just like all the others, uh, the elf ear and, and uh, the elf hat and all that. Uh, and the reason why you need a slightly bigger one is because the fish bowls for this one, you're going to use two of the big size ones. You're not going to use the little size because Santa has to be um, plump. <laughs> so that's the so when you you're going to need a fairly good size head to do his beard and everything on to make it look uh, like a Santa. And uh, so you're going to need two of the big bowls, and you're going to need some black felt uh, for his belt, and. You're going to need some yellow or some white for his uh, for his buckle. Just a little tiny piece of white. So you're going to need some black. And you're going to need a little bit of the white fur. Or you can use the, uh, like on the Grinch, the green, but it comes in white, of uh, the feathery type uh, fur. So let's go ahead and get started and of course you're going to need some mop and glow. So here's my mop and glow. Any floor wax will work. It doesn't necessarily have to be mop and glow. As long as it's a wax product, uh, it'll, it'll work. I just happen to have the mop and glow. So we'll go ahead and get started. So you're just going to pour some in, just like with all the others. And as you can see, I said, you know, I made this Santa last year, and the, the glitter is still in there. It's not flaked off, it's not fell off, it's not, you know, I mean, it's there. So this, the, the wax holds. It's, it's a glue. So just spin it around and of course if you get bubbles it's not a big deal. Just take and pop them and let them run down to the bottom. Drain it off. And go ahead and do the, the next one. As you can see, I still have some little bubbles in there. Just take a paintbrush and just daub them. They'll go away.
And you gotta take your red glitter, spin it around. Just dab them. <coughs> and I'm using pink for his face just because it, it kind of gives it just a rosy type color and it's a, a light pink. <coughs> I got this from Hobby Lobby. And the color is actually called soft paint. So, okay, so you have your two jars. You're going to set one right on top of the other. And go around it with your glue gun. your white fur type for his collar. Just cut you a about a half inch strip. And make sure you have your lint brush handy to pick all that mess up with. And you're just going to wrap it around his neck so that it's like a collar. This is what you have so far. You're going to do his belt. Even though with his beard on, you're not going to see his belt so much, it's, it's still going to be there. So just put his little belt on. the buckle. I take about a one inch square fold it in half cut the middle off to the front. And you're going to need some E6000 e for his mittens and his boots. You're going to put a little bit of E6000 in the middle because it takes a few days to set up you're going to use it with some hot glue the hot glue will hold it until the E6000 sets up just hold it 
in place until the hot glue sets. Again, just put some in the middle. And your hot glue. These boots and mittens I made last year. I was able to get them from the Dollar Tree, but the Dollar Tree doesn't sell them this year. So I've learned to make my own. A little bit of hot glue. Put his little hand on. <coughs> and stick them right in place. And the next step is his little hat. We're going to glue his little hat on. in place until it sets. Sometimes it's easier to try to do it in little portions than trying to do it all at one time. This is what you have so far. And I just take and bend his little hat over and pull a portion of it down. Then you can play with it, fluff it however you want it. Now comes the fun part with the loopy chenille. This is like so easy. So you're going to find the end of it somewhere in here. Here it is. You're going to find the end of it and you're going to kind of measure from the side of his hat And, and what you're going to do is you, you're just going to like give it a couple of inches and in where you want his beard to go to. And then you're just going to weave it. There's like a, a piece of wire in here. And you're just going to weave it back and forth. However many little thicklets you want. 
or however thick you want it, I should say. So I think I'll that might be enough right there. So with this one, I'm gonna go up. And there are little pieces that fall off of this too. So, and then you're going to go back and you're just going to tack up at the top. All the little things that are where you went up and down with it. Just kind of stick it together. Just need a little dab in there. You don't want a whole bunch. Just enough to stick a few of the little things together. So this is what it's going to look like, just like that. And you're going to take and kind of pull, pull the strings down because you want the end of it. And you're going to try to stick it up underneath the edge of his hat so it kind of looks like it's going all the way up underneath and just hold it there for just a minute until it cools. And then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. You're going to pull all the loops down. Put some glue on the end of it. And right up the side of his hat. Just hold it until it cools. off any little strings from the glue. Now at the bottom, once you get the sides, sorry, once you get the sides set where you want them, then you can come and set his beard. And about the only place that you really need to glue is just in the middle. So you can kind of come up underneath it and set it in place. Just hold it till it cools. So, so far, this is what you have. At this point, I have a Cricut, um, so 
I have his face all done. At this point, I at least put his mouth on because we still need to add a mustache. And if you try to do the mustache first and then the mouth, you wind up getting his hair or beard in every, it, it just catches. So you want to, if you have a cricket, this, at this point you'd want to put the mouth on. And for the mustache, you're just going to cut a section about like that from one side to the other. And again, you're going to pull the loops down so that you have the end of it. And a little bit of hot glue on the end. And you're going to kind of lift it, his beard, on the side and put it up underneath and push it down like that. And do the same thing for the other side. his beard and put it up underneath let it sit and cool and now you can kind of shape it a little bit can do his eyes. And you can fluff him, spread the loops out, push them together, fill it in, just however you want to do it. And there you have your Santa. Thank you for watching.